Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the 11th day of March, 2021. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is the defeated devil. The Bible says, and he said unto them, Behold, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Luke chapter 10, verse 12. Thought for the day, Jesus beat the devil. He made a public show of Satan. Hallelujah. Previously, we saw that to have victory over the devil, we must always understand that we are dealing with a devil that has been defeated. One secret of exercising dominion over the enemy is the understanding of the falling state of the enemy. Let's look at a typical example. Many years ago, there was a fight between Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson, two American professional football, um, boxers. Before the uh, fight, Mike Tyson was the boxing title holder. He was the boxer in charge. When they fought, Evander Holyfield beat Mike Tyson and collected the title from him. Now, this is the point that Evander Holyfield beat Mike Tyson does not mean that Mike Tyson cannot beat another boxer. It only means that Mike Tyson is under the control, is under control where Evander Holyfield is present. How does this apply to your life? Jesus beat the devil. He made a public show of Satan. He beat the devil. Jesus stripped the devil of all his power and all his titles. But the devil is still raging on the earth for those who do not know God and also for ignorant children of God who have decided to allow the devil have his way in their lives. So understand the falling position of the enemy and to be in charge always, you must know that you are dealing with a defeated devil. You are dealing with a falling devil. No matter how wicked the witches in your village or your family are, or the wizards in your community are, always know that their father, the devil, is a defeated foe. This knowledge keeps the devil under your control. Remember this, that Jesus beat the devil. He made a public show of them. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, walk in the consciousness of your victory in Christ. And number two, refuse to be afraid of the defeated devil and all his agents in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Say after me, thank you, Lord, for the revelation of your word for today. I receive the grace to exercise dominion over the devil in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you. You remember what we just said? That the devil is still at work for those who don't know him, know Jesus Christ. Those who are not yet born again. And if you are not yet born again, this is your opportunity to do so. Simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will need to please the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. I pray for you today and I declare that the hold of the devil is broken from your life in the name of Jesus. You will serve God in spirit and in truth in Jesus' name. And it's your birthday today. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. As your day, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. You have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Thank you.